What if it doesn't work? Hey, what's up, guys? This is your race pace coach. And if you're asking yourself this question, my question to to you is, have you tried race pace training? Have you tried the race pace program? If not, then you got to think about if you keep thinking about it not working, then it's not going to work for you. Okay. Um, my story with race pace training is I started it five years ago. And when I started race pace training, I was doing the 25s. Um, I was reading the USRPT documentations. I was confused about it. You know, I, th- I, I think everybody who who's read the USRPT documentation was confused and didn't really know where to start. You go on YouTube, you go into forums, and then you talk. You see people talking about race pace training, and they are saying the same thing. You know, how do you get target times? How do you get intervals? How much rest period in between each set? Questions like this. This is why I created this channel to explain race pace training and to encourage coaches, swimmers, and parents to do race pace training because it's a program that's a lot easier it creates faster swimmers in a shorter period of time okay so my my first thing that i went through um that didn't well it did work for me but it somewhat kind of didn't because um it was a 25 that sets on the 25 sets um doing 25 to get ready for 100 race pace doing 25s to get ready for 200 race pace um because it was suggested oh the 25s for 200 race pace it was suggested 25s versus 50s it was high, 25s was highly suggested over 50s and the first year year and a half of doing race pace training i was doing 25s i was dividing target times d- dividing goal times to get your target times for the swimmers to use it on their sets. So for the 25s first, um, it did, it did help. It made them faster in their hundreds and their two hundreds. But when you watch them swim at swim meets there, you could see that they did not have enough endurance at the end of their races for the hundred endure 100 race pace endurance and 200 race pace endurance so that's when i decided i'm going to try 50s out and see how it goes and then when i when i tried it after a year and a half of doing just 25s you know the swimmers results were improving the they didn't look like they're dying that they didn't look like they're getting fatigue or dying that long in the on the last 25 of the 100 and the last 50 of the 200. So I believe that doing trial and error and ask telling yourself how you how can you improve on it will help you and help um, fix up your race pace program to make it even better. Okay. Um, the next thing is uh, target time. The target time was harder for the swimmers to achieve when I started to divide my target times because um, we, when you divide your target time, you're factoring in the dive, okay? So the dive makes your 25 a lot faster than normal. And if you're not diving off each 25 and you're doing a push off, you, and you're factoring the dive start, you're definitely your swimmers are not going to make it. Okay. So that's when I switched over to um, doing uh, their splits for hundreds, their second 50 split, which they're doing a push off at a hundred race pace for their last 50. And then I'm using that as their target time. And when I started using that, I noticed the results of my swimmers drastically improving and getting a lot better. Okay. So doing race pace training, because it's so consistent 
and you make it consistent, you can do trial and error and see what works and see what doesn't work. And you can definitely measure and track your results and see, again, see what works and see what doesn't work. That's what I've done over the past five years of doing race pace training, conducting this race pace program with my swimmers. And I, I think that I feel that the results of my swimmers have improved way, way faster than the results of my uh, swimmers that were doing max yardage training for the first 10 years of my coaching experience. Okay. So again, I, I leave you today telling you that do not think that things are not going to work if you haven't tried it. You need to try it before it doesn't work before you say it doesn't work, okay? Um, just like this YouTube channel, okay? I've been thinking about it for a long time, over two, three years, thinking that it was a dumb idea, a waste of time. But after two to three years and, you know, you just go through all these other race pace channels, they don't really give you any information about race pace training. So... This is, and then I, I just had enough and I just started my first video and then, you know, I'm getting a good amount of feedback, a good amount of likes, you know, subscribers are at 21. It's not that high, but I think I'm doing, I'm at least, as long as I feel that I'm reaching out to people that makes me happy and people are understanding the program. Okay. So thanks for watching this video and um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with other coaches, parents, and swimmers. And um, if you're interested in the Race Pace program, uh, there's a link in the description below to Race Pace 101 course that I teach, which teaches you about Race Pace training. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.